सेवन टिप्स दैट यू नीड टू नो वाइल बाइंग होम थिएटर इक्विपमेंट्स और राधर टू कीप योर होम थिएटर इक्विपमेंट सेफ हेलो एवरी वन आई एम तन्मय मेहता योर होम थिएटर कंसल्टेंट एट टच वुड ऑटोमेश एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सेवन टिप्स दैट यू नीड टू यू नो नो सो दैट यू कैन सेफ गार्ड योर होम थिएटर इक्विपमेंट्स एंड द रीजन आई एम डूइंग दिस बिकॉज आई हैव कम अक्रॉस लॉट ऑफ कंप्लेन्स एंड फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ यू दैट यू नो माई एम्पलीफायर इज नॉट वर्किंग माई प्रोजेक्ट इज हैविंग दिस प्रॉब्लम माई सब बुफर इज नॉट वर्किंग रिपेयर इज गोइंग टू बी अज कॉस्ट Uh, that too after you spend already high on the equipments now if you are also worried about not spending too much on the repairs and on the you know further maintenance of the devices then for all of you you need to know this seven tips now some of the tips we have already discussed but i'm just not going to talk about that in this video obviously we have already spoke about surge protector which is the first tip so surge protector is going to safeguard your devices with the voltage spikes that you will have in your regular current and this video primarily for all the indians out there i know that how volatile is the you know spike in our country with the power supply it's not going to be uniform at all and when we have so many devices connected in our homes the current is never going to be smooth and that is why you will see lot of spikes in the voltage current and these spikes can damage the electronic goods that you are using it can be your home theater amplifier it can be woofer it can be a projector it can be your tv tata sky any sort of devices or all sort of devices which are drawing power from the main supply and these are going to need a proper stabilization and that stabilization will come through with the help of surge protectors so that is the first tip i have already recommended couple of products like belkin products which you can obviously buy for surge protection but even when you buy surge protector make sure that you are not doing a daisy chain along with it now what do i mean by daisy chain let's say from the main socket you have got a wire with the surge protection on board and this surge protection has got only four sockets and then later your devices got added so what you are doing is you are getting another surge protector so the second surge protector is connected to the first surge protector and that's how you are increasing the number of sockets now when you do this this is not going to be an ideal situation and it's not going to really work out well so that's why make an investment in two separate surge protectors connected to two separate sockets on your wall do not connect them with each other to multiply the number of such protector sockets now apart from that there is something called as power conditioners these are basically to ensure that the sine wave current is again given properly and the extra noise that comes along with the ac ac supply is removed and is filtered so this is called a power conditioner so that's basically tip number 2 that you can invest in good sir power conditioners as well there are good firm and power conditioners available online you can have a look at that i'll be sharing all the links to these products in the description as well for all of you who do not want or you know want a much more better solution than the surge protector and a power conditioner well then for you you need to buy a ups yes ups stands for uninterrupted power supply and you honestly need this for home theater i'll tell you why because your projector for instance has got a lamp and that lamp when there is a power cut off or any you know you know power shedding that is happening at your place this cut offs of power will actually damage the lamp of the projector and to safeguard this lamp the lamp dit up you know requires a continuous power which is uninterrupted and that is where a ups will do a much more better job i know i am going to a lot of comments asking me whether inverter is better or ups is better well inverter is not recommended really for home theater equipments you need a ups because ups is an uninterrupted power supply which is going to continue the flow of the current in the same direction unlike an inverter which is going to probably send out a reverse current which can further damage the devices so i am not talking about inverter here guys you can you need to buy a good online ups now this ups as i said will safeguard your projector your tv your amplifier and the moment there is a power cut off your system will still stay on because of this ups and then sa- safely you can turn off your equipments so you don't need a very fancy high power ups because i know these are going to be a little you know big devices and it is going to be a challenge to put them in your av rack or av cabinet so make sure that you accommodate a small ups which is even a 1 kva that is 1000 volts ups 
and that would take care of at least 15 minutes of power supply to your projector amplifier subwoofer connections is a little questionable over here but subwoofer has its own peaks and basically when it's going to have a peak power consumption that is the time when it can basically draw huge currents from uh, your ups but yes if you are using it at a medium volume levels or not too high bass or too punch then i think you are safe to connect the subwoofer to a ups as well now one of the best ups that i saw was the apc ups which has got six surge protectors so it has also got six sockets which is doing the job of surge protection and it is one kva which can give enough power for 15 20 minutes or half an hour to your amplifier your woofer to your tv and to your projector so these devices along with your small accessories like tata sky apple tv fire tv stick even these would can be dependent on the small ups so make sure that you can invest on this now this was the third item the benefit of ups is again it eliminates the first two items which is your uh, surge protector and power conditioner together into the ups so that's why buying a ups is always better the fourth recommendation is that you don't stack products one over the other i have seen many places wherein one amplifier then you've got a blu-ray player a tata sky or let's say a playstation everything is stacked over one another now in such cases what happens is you are actually preventing the airflow within the compartment and that is why the devices might fail soon so you need to have enough gap between two devices you can use spacers for instance i know many of you must have already ordered a pizza from a domino's or a pizza hut now with those pizza boxes you get a small spacer wherein you know the box cardboard doesn't stick to the pizza or you know the pizza top so that is where you can use these kind of spacers onto the equipments and create at least a good 2 to 3 inches of gap and so that that gap is enough to do the airflow ventilation properly between these devices if not you can also have different uh, you know uh, layers or different shelves for each product which can also do a job pretty easily so make sure to buy these things or take care of these things when you are designing your av rack for your home theater room so you need to give it proper ventilation and that's the tip number 4 now the tip number 5 uh, just depend on the internal cooling system you should also invest in good cooling fans now if at all your spaces are pretty compact and you know that there is no ventilation happening i know many people in india are worried about the dust factor and they want to cover all their equipment so they would keep them in a closed compartment but you need to provide them enough ventilation and if you don't then make sure to buy those cooling fans which are available online for hardly 600 to 1200 bucks and they would also do a decent job of you know the heat dissipation and will again safeguard your products so that's the tip number 5 that you need to use cooling fans the tip number 6 is coming back to the previous topic of dust in india well if you know that your products are going to have dust particles come into it there is a inlet fan and there is an outlet fan in each of the device now inlet fan and the outlet fan is basically for the airflow but the through those vents the dust particles that is going to enter or through the other vents that are that a common electronic product has your dust particles will go inside and they are going to stack up one over the other like the dust layer will start becoming thicker and thicker and that is where it is going to give problems to the internal components so that's why you need to ensure that from the place where you are buying this products you call them once in 6 months or once in a year and ask them to open the piece clean it properly and again put it back because the moment you do it you will see a much more better performance as well you will see at least 15 10 to 15% better performance because your internal components are getting cleaned up the pcb board is getting cleaned up and it is not going to really you know cause damage in the longer run to the devices as well so the tip number 6 is that you need to do proper dusting you know every 6 months or every year for all your electronic equipments so that you increase their life by at least 1 1 and a half year now before i jump on to the seventh tip let me know how are these tips helping you and if any of you have already used any of these tips and has it caused any change in your system for all those of you who are still struggling as to what should i do with my problems or what my what should i do with my repairs and maintenance cost don't forget to drop a message to us using the comments you can also reach out to us using the t20 or the home run services and we'll be glad to help you with that Now, how many times does it happen that 
we all you know have been watching something and there somebody comes up and increases the volume to a very very high level and then you suddenly see that your amplifier is stripped you know the, it's not turning on it has gone to a self protection mode or certain devices are not working because of it or the speakers have gone you know the tweeter has blown off or the driver has blown off we see lot of these complaints because of volume rises or you know when you increase the volume levels and to safeguard your electronic equipments the seventh and the last tip is that you set maximum volume limit on the av receivers or on the amplifiers the moment you decide a maximum limit the sound will not go more than that and it will start locking itself at that area which will safeguard your electronic device which is your main av receiver you will save lot of thousands of rupees so this is the seventh tip that always and always remember to set the maximum volume limit onto the receiver so that you safeguard your speakers and your amplifiers because both these devices if at all blown off is going to in, you know incur lot of cost and you need to avoid this cost by taking care of these basic tips now when we are talking about all these products i am talking about the repair cost worth rupees thousands and thousands because believe me your projector blows off the lamp will be around 5 10000 rupees 15000 to begin with uh, if at all the amplifier's power circuit has gone it will start from 4 to 6000 rupees if at all you are talking about an hdmi cable that has gone for toss we are talking again about 3 to 7000 rupees now these are the cost that is involved if you know you incur any damage or any repair but if you take care of these seven tips for your home theater equipments i am pretty confident that these losses can be prevented other tips that are given about hdmi such protector uh, we had spoken about that i am going to leave a link to that video over here so that you can also watch that video if you at all you have not and for those of you who have personal questions or need more inputs about repairs and maintenance for their system or that you know you have got a old receiver it needs to be repaired but i am contemplating whether to you know repair it or to buy a new receiver well feel free to reach out to us i'll be happy to help you i am going to obviously share the link for that as well uh, wherein you can reach me and that's it from my end guys thank you once again i hope this video helps you keep liking keep sharing keep subscribing to our channel cause your encouragement like this makes me sit here do these videos with my team and help you with better well informed and right decisions when it comes to buying anything and everything in the home electronics industry thank you so much